Alrighty, hello everybody. I uh, wanted to make this video to uh, explain how to set up the console auto splitter. Uh, now that I have a much better understanding of it, so I can try to explain some of the things that might be a little confusing, and hopefully get everybody set up and doing everything uh, right. So first off, what we're gonna need is the newest version uh, as of this video. It is version 1.1, and I will have this link up to date as new versions come out in the description of the video. But note that this video uh, is for 1.1, so if there are lots of changes between versions, you might have to just kind of figure it out yourself. <laughs> uh, I might make updated videos for each new version of the release if a lot of things change, but if it's just minor changes, then I don't really see a point. Um, so, like I said, I'll have this link down in the description of the video. You'll come to this this website, and you'll just download the zip file and extract that wherever the the hell you feel like doing that too. Next we're gonna need screenshots for our run. Um, I'm gonna be showing you explicitly how to set up Sly1 any percent and um, by proxy that will also work for all keys in 100%. However there will be some, some kind of differences there so I might make a video explaining the differences um, and I'll link back to this video for initial setup. However uh, we're gonna go through for Sly1 and I'll have this Google Drive linked down below. It is also linked in the Runner's Discord. It is pinned under Sly1. It should probably be pinned in general or something. But for right now, it's pinned under uh, the Sly1 chat. If you ever need to find it and you don't want to come back to this video. Um, alternatively, you could just like bookmark this. I think that should work. But anyway, it'll bring you to here. And uh, in the Sly1 folder, we'll find this any% subfolder. And this will have all of our screenshots in it that we need. So we're just going to right-click this and download the folder, and it'll be good to go. <clears throat> From here, you will notice that I already have my auto split folder set up. I've already extracted it, set it up like this. And then what I like to do is I like to put my split folders inside this first folder. So you have downloads right here where it is, and then you'll click into it once, and then it'll just be this folder here where your actual program is. Uh, I like to put my split folders here. It doesn't alter anything in the program, and it's just a nice, easy way of knowing exactly where my pictures are. So, um, just really quick to go over this, um, boss fights are split on view map instead of autosave. This is to either combat, you know, sometimes people like to do safe strats, and for Mugshot and Ruby, it's just a little weird. So this is just a nice, uniform way to make sure we all split at the same spot without having to worry about, you know, Oh man, do I need to pick up the new strat, or uh, you know, like I, I don't, I don't want to have to worry about this, you know, five second or this, not this five second, this like half second time save. You know, can I kind of just load the game? You know, this is just to keep it nice and easy um, for all skill levels, for everybody to you know to rock out and jam out. Uh, there are a couple of splits that you might have problems with, and um, those splits are Layer of the Beast, um, Down Home Cooking or Chickens and race skip. Now, the reason why I say you'll have problems with these is Layer of the Beast, sometimes people like to jump onto the little hand where the key is, the little platform, and break the key from there, and that will alter the, the split picture a little bit, and that might alter it just enough to where it'll fix it, or it might make it not work. You should be fine. I don't think you'll have an issue. I lowered the percentage as much as I could without it um, having potential accidental uh, false positives. So this should work regardless, but you just know you might have trouble with this. If you do, just alter the screenshot yourself and then make sure you um, add a custom um, threshold and a custom pause timer. I'll explain what that is in a little bit. But just know that you might have trouble here and you might have to fix this one. Same thing with chickens. Uh, chickens you shouldn't have any problems with. Um, this screenshot was done manually um, in my OBS window, and um, I'm pretty sure it was done manually. It wasn't taken from any run. Yeah, this was done manually, and um, I guess you might have trouble if you already hit the key and the autosave came up, where it's like on the fade to black. But, um, 
Yeah, that might cause some issues. I actually hadn't hadn't foreseen that being a problem. Anyway, just know you might have a problem in chickens. Um, with it being 0.75, I don't think you will. Uh, it should be good to go every single time. You can just go and try this out a couple times if you really want to. Um, but yeah, that might be an issue. And then race skip will almost certainly be an issue if you just let Murray run to the key from the van. Um, the background for the pause will be completely different. Like if you notice, we'll pull it up on the screen. You'll notice that this is the pause screen that comes up when you restart the level after Murray collects the key. Um, if you like, if Murray like runs out, you restart level, and then you grab the key and you pause after you grab the key. This is where the pause screen will look like. This is completely different than if you let Murray run. So you will need to change this screenshot um, if you let Murray run to the key, which is not that big of a deal. Um, I just didn't feel like making both <laughs> and then telling you to delete one. Um, it's really easy to make screenshots, so don't worry. Um, you can just take a screenshot of your own run. You can pull up your personal best on speedrun.com, take a really quick picture of it if you want. You could also just go and, you know, be recording yourself playing, go and just do it, and then when you get to that point, pause the game and then just, like, screen cap OBS or something. And it's really simple. Um, don't worry about it. You will need to remember, though, um, that you'll need to make sure that it is named so that it appears after Duel by the Dragon and before Panda King. And you'll see here, my the split names are a little weird. Um, this was just really easy to do it this way. But um, so it goes like A and B for Hub 1, and then it's like uh, all C for Hub 2, and then uh, all of Hub 3 is D, and it's like D underscore A, D underscore B, D underscore C. And that's just uh, how the program needs the files to be named for it to read them in successive order. Um, it's really simple to understand once you initially figure it out. So just know that it, it is a little weird, but... The splits are already all in order, so if you want, you can just take your screenshot and then just name it exactly over this, and you'll be fine. Easy peasy. Um, and that's that. <clears throat> um, but yeah, that should be everything. Um, this number in parentheses right here is a percentage, so it's 0.8 for 80%. And this is our custom similarity threshold. and that stands for this thing down here. Um, this is the percentage, the minimum percentage that the capture region needs to look like this photo on the right for it to press the hotkey to split for you. So we're going to be using custom thresholds for every single segment. So you see this one is 78%, this one is 80 this one down here is 90 um, and this down here is 85 um, all of these percentages, I've tweaked enough to where it should be fine for everybody. It should always work for everybody every time. But if it doesn't, um, you should be able to lower the percentages a little bit. Just make sure that the number is always in the parentheses. Um, if it's not within the parentheses, like if I, like, let me go in here. Let me reset this. I'll, uh... I'll rename this, and we'll, we'll put uh, we'll put the period outside the, the parentheses here. And you'll notice when I go to start this, we'll get invalid custom threshold detected, and that's because the number was outside the parentheses. Now there's also this number in brackets, and this number that's in the bracket is the custom pause timer, and this is the amount of time that the game or that the program cannot split again until the time in seconds has gone by. So here, after Layer of the Beast splits for 50 seconds, the game cannot split for fish, or the program cannot split for fish. Um, the reason for this is sometimes at the start of levels we'll have similar things that, uh, similar areas that look like our screenshots, so we don't want to auto-split early. Um, that's, that's a false positive. We don't want that to happen. So a lot of these pause timers are custom made so to speak for the, uh, the things to be good and if you don't have that number in brackets then it will say invalid custom pause time I think is what it, it, it comes up um, 
you want to make sure that that is accurate. So let me go here. Which one did I mess up? I messed up this one. Okay. So just note, and when I see I fixed it now, we're good to go. Um, so setting up the actual splitter itself, <clears throat> um, selecting region, this is as simple as it looks, or as simple as it sounds. You're just going to um, have your game feed up in OBS. You're going to select region, and then you're just going to mouse over your capture window in OBS to select as much of the game feed as you can. And that's all there is to that. I have this black screen. I have a little black like, little bar selected here so it doesn't you know, constantly loop. Um, <clears throat> once that is done, you're going to go to Browse, and you're going to navigate to whatever spot you've put your screenshots folder in. And you're just going to click it the one time so that it pops up down here. I'm going to select that folder. And that is how it knows what folder to use for your screenshots. Um, since we are using custom thresholds and custom pause times, we need to have these two boxes checkmarked. These should not be automatically checkmarked. So you will have to manually do that. Um, then for your comparison method, we are going to be using p hash. And this is simply so we can have as many splits be as accurate to the old timing methods as we can be. Um, any of the ones that are based off of pauses or you know running through um, an extra level are really only possible with this. It's primarily the pause ones, but this will make it so as many splits can be as accurate to the old splitting methods as possible, um, creating less headache for everybody. So you have to you know you have to alter less golds. Um, you know, more things will be the same. And there'll be less inconsistency between them because it's the exact like the exact frame the pause window comes up, which is pretty much when we would have split anyway. Um, so it should be all good to go and everything like that. Um, the last thing to note is you're going to need to set up global hotkeys. As you can see here, I have my hotkeys already set up. And these are for in live split. <clears throat> you're going to go to settings and you're going to make these four, so start split, reset, undo split, and skip split, you're going to make these hotkeys the exact same as they are here. And that's so the program can, excuse me, that's so the program, ah, excuse me, can press those hotkeys um, so it can know when to split, or so it can actually split for you. You can press the reset key what with auto split selected and that'll reset your splits and the program. You can skip a split, and it'll skip the, the current image in auto splitter, and it will skip your split in live split. So if you accidentally grab something extra or whatever, you know, you're playing a different game other than Sly, um, and you go out of your way to get something earlier to save some time later, blah, 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 whatever. Um, this is why you need to do that. <clears throat> and you want to make sure you have this box checked down here for global hotkeys. And this is why it's important to make them kind of weird things. Like I have like I have the insert key, the end key, and then page down and page up. It says next in here, but it's page down. You see down here undo split, page down, undo split, next, but it should be page down. Um, this is important so that because it's it's global hotkeys, if I didn't have it, it would press the insert key, and if the global hotkey wasn't active, it wouldn't split. But since it does, you can see I can clearly hear I have auto split selected, so I can split. I can skip the split, and you can see the picture changes. I can undo the split, it goes back, and I can end the timer. This is also really important because if you get a false positive and it splits for you, and you're like, oh no, you know, I, I didn't want you to split. Um, darn, I saved two minutes on Stealthy Approach. Wow, I can't believe it. Um, it it's as simple as just undo split, and you're good to go. It should reset the picture back to the one you were on, and it will skip your, it'll undo your split and uh, in live split. Um, if it doesn't ever do this, you can just manually undo the split, and that should bring you back as well. Um, so your picture and split you're on are the same. But it should be as easy as just pressing the hotkey. <clears throat> um, I believe that's everything. If you want to manually run your PB through this, just as one last little thing, um, it's really easy if you have two monitors. Um, I just pull up my, my personal best 
in a sec in a separate monitor and I crop it down or I, I um, pull up my my PB on my first monitor I have OBS capture that first monitor with a display capture and then I crop it down to where only the video like the game feed is being displayed and then I just select the game feed in OBS with auto splitter and then I just run through the game like normal um, I just run I start the timer at the same time that I start my personal best and it's good to go from there. <clears throat> so hopefully this helped out. Um, this is like the third or fourth time I've made this video. <laughs> um, this is by far the shortest, and I feel it is the most condensed explanation. I don't really think I can go any faster without skipping stuff. So um, I hope this helps. I hope I didn't overload you with too much information. I hope I didn't miss anything. Um, just remember you need to select your game region properly. I need to make sure your splits are selected. <clears throat> and you'd have custom threshold and custom pause timers check marked and p hash um, for a sly one specifically. All sly one categories will be using this. Um, sly two and sly three and sly four, I don't think we'll need to use this. They should be able to be a lot simpler for setup. But sly one, because of the amount of accuracy that we need, um, it just requires some extra specifics. So I hope this helped out. Um, and has everybody set up and good to go. Um, hopefully, if we can get enough people running on this, we can get enough people to get it to work for everybody, um, we can put this on the resources page for all of the games, and uh, we can start kind of, you know, blending out the uh, the old way and kind of blend in this new auto-splitting way. So uh, if you have any questions, feel free to message me um, on Discord or Twitter or whatever. Um, and I can try to help you out. Um, and uh, yeah. Peace out, guys.